We're now going to look at setting assignments inside Microsoft Teams. So this is under the Assignments tab. And again, we can get there through Class Dashboard. And as a teacher, I can create a brand new assignment or I could create a self-marking quiz using Microsoft Forms, which we'll look at in another video. Or I could even reuse an existing assignment. So I'm going to create a brand new one. So this will bring up the new assignment form. I can give it a title, my cement essay, give them some instructions, please complete their worksheets. And then I could even attach some resources. So in this case, I've got a worksheet. Um, it's in my OneDrive under of my cement lessons. So I just attach that. I could even attach additionally things like class notebook pages, links into SharePoint, resources from my other teams. And you'll see that students get their own copy of this document so they can actually edit it and return it back to me. If it's just a read only resource, I can change it to students can't edit. And then I can give them points. So I'm going to give them 100. So I'm just going to add to 100%. And um, so you can add in marking criteria here as well. They're called rubrics in uh, in Teams. So I can add a rubric. And these ones I've created earlier, but you can create brand new ones and you know copy and paste from any you've currently got in Word. Um, so I'll grab one of these. And you can see I've just created this just just like you might have your marking grids already. Uh, inside a Word document, just copy and paste them into here. And I can reuse these. I can share it with other people in my departments. I can even add in some uh, weights for these criteria. So when it comes to marking it, I'm just going to select, right, that, that creativity is excellent, spelling and grammar is good, and it will automatically mark it based on that weighing of the different criteria. So I can use that if I wanted to. And that's quite nice because it's transparent. You know, students can see what they need to achieve to get excellence. And I can assign this to one class that I teach or to multiple classes that I teach. I can assign it to all the students in that group or maybe just a group of them. So if you've got a high level and an intermediate level homework, you can set two different levels of homework for that group. I can then set a due date and time, so maybe Friday at two o'clock. And if you're really prepared and organized, you can also uh, change the dates that you're going to schedule it. So I could schedule these in advance and the assignment won't be posted until that published date. So I could potentially, if I'm really organized, do a whole half term's worth of homeworks and they'll just get posted on those particular dates and times. So as soon as I click the assign button, that will send it to those students if they've got the app installed on their phone or tablet, they will get an instant notification. Um, otherwise, they'll see it when they log into Teams. They'll see, again go to assignments. They'll see all their assignments aggregated up.